everybody! I hope you're all having a great weekend. I know a lot of my videos lately have been featuring some designer makeup, which can be really expensive, so I wanted to show you more affordable options of makeup that I think are still really great. What I got that I want to show you are these four eyeshadow trios from Wet n Wild, and I haven't used Wet n Wild in a really long time. I want to see maybe like six years, maybe even ten years. It's been a really long time since I've used anything from their brand. So now that I've started to uh, use them again, I'm actually really impressed. I think the quality has improved since the last time I used them, which was a big reason as to why I stopped buying their things. So the first trio is called Sweet as Candy, and it's what I have on my eyes right now. And the eyelid color is a really pretty oystery pink. Then the crease color is a like a cocoa brown, and then the highlight for the brow bone is um, more of like a yellow based white. And um, all the Wet n Wild trios have a little brush, like an angled brush for the crease and then just your standard sponge tip applicator for the, um, for just for applying the shadow. And here's the pink, I think you, know, you probably can see that better there. That's the pink, that's the brown crease shade, and I think you can see that that is the um, the highlight. I actually really like this trio. I think all of the colors in here apply really nicely. They are really smooth. They don't have a lot of um, kickback, so they don't create a lot of um, mess while you're while you're working with these. I really really like this trio. The next one that I'll show you is called Cool as a Cucumber, and this is a lot more colorful. And it has a really beautiful deep forest green and then a deep plum, and then I don't think you'll be able to see, this is more of a really, really light green. This one's definitely more of like the inside of the cucumber, like I would say that's like the skin, this dark green, and then up here this is the like inside, so just a really pale green. And I really hope you can see what the color looks like, but I don't think you'll be able to on, at least that's what the monitor made it look like. And uh, so this is that really beautiful dark green, that's the purple, and let me see, right there, if you can see that, is that really, really pale green. It doesn't come out looking like a really green color if you have it as a highlight. It, it just has a slight green tinge to it, so you don't look like you have green right up here. Um, I really like that trio, too. Um, I find that you have to work a little bit more with those colors than you do with the Sweetest Candy, but I still really like that trio. And um, the next ones that I have, I'll show you Silent Treatment, and I am so impressed with this one. I originally had that on today, um, it was uh, the second time I'd used it, but uh, the first time I used it was at night, and I had forgotten that this is a definitely a really good nighttime trio. So this is the eyelid color, and it's an absolutely beautiful mauve with just a hint of gray, and then this crease is a really dark espresso brown but it's got some really beautiful micro glitter in it and then this is more of a um, I don't think you can see that on the monitor but this is definitely more of like a peachy pink for the highlight and um, I'll show you so this color right here is that eyelid color here is the crease color uh, yeah the crease color and then here is the highlight and what I really like about this trio is you could definitely use this for daytime if you're just really really light with the crease color or even if you just used the eyelid and the brow but then if you were to just toss in that crease color it totally transforms the look this is an outstanding palette for nighttime the um oh and the crease color in here reminds me a lot of what the brown in the dior couture golds palette like really should have been like i think this is actually a better performing um, whoops, I just dropped one of the little um, applicators, but I think this is a better performing eyeshadow than the Dior one, but I really like this this palette. I think they all go on really well. They're super pigmented in this palette, like definitely no problems with pigmentation in the Silent Treatment palette. And the last palette I have is called I'm Feeling Retro, and it's definitely a really fun palette. And uh, this is a purpley pink. It's kind of like a duochrome eyeshadow and it reminds me a lot of the Omen color in the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary palette. Um, and this is a really cool like electric 
blue with a bit of teal um, duochrome again shade and then this is a just a white highlighter I don't like this uh, this trio nearly as much but here I'll show you the shades so that's the pink of the pinky purple and I had to get I had to layer quite a bit to get this intensity I was so disappointed with this color because it looks like it would be amazing and then it just really didn't deliver as much as I would have liked it to and then there's the blue and that, I mean, was a lot more pigmented, but I still think it could be a little bit more pigmented. As you can see, though, I think these have a really cool metallic sheen. I really like, I, I like the finish of them. I just wish they were more pigmented. And then I don't think you'll be able to see it because I can barely see it. That is the highlighter. And I find it applies well, but then all of a sudden it just wears so quickly if I don't have a primer on underneath. Um, so with these, you definitely need to wear a primer. But... I think these could be really cool, but I'm just not impressed with the um, pigmentation of them. So you definitely have to layer quite a bit. But if you do layer, I think that these are really, really cool. I actually really like this trio, other than the fact that I just... You have to use a lot in order to get it to really show up. But so overall, I'm really impressed with the Wet n Wild trios. I was so surprised at how finely milled they were. They went on really buttery smooth and they were, for the most part were really pigmented and they had pretty good lasting power so I think I'll definitely be getting a few more of those as time goes on. I especially like the price and I think they were maybe like three dollars and to have three dollars for a trio and then be able to get them even on sale was amazing. I spent less than ten dollars for twelve eyeshadows which is a super deal. So, um, actually I think I might have even spent less than that, but I can't, I don't recall off the top of my head how much they actually are, so I don't want to just go do math and then not be right. Um, and then the next thing that I got to show you is the e.l.f. nail polish kit for the holidays. And this was $5 and it has five nail polishes in here, and, um, I really, really like this. I think this would make an amazing gift. Um... I've been playing with them a little bit. I'm not going to show you swatches of these. I will do an actual blog post on this entire kit. So if you're interested, check out my blog in a few days. I will hopefully have a post soon. But I'm just going to show you really quickly the colors that are in here. Each of these was a dollar, so for five eyeshadows, oh no, not eyeshadows, for five nail polishes, it was five dollars, so a really good deal. And uh, this first one is called Golden Goddess, and it's a golden glitter nail polish. It's got some big gold flecks in it. This one's pretty cool, and I really think it'd be a nice holiday shade. This next one is called Royal Purple, and it's kind of like a purpley pink. Um, it's really pretty. It's got a shimmer finish to it, and I really like it. The next color is called Mod Mauve, and it's a really pretty deep mauve. There we go, there's no glare. Um, and it's a cream finish. It reminds me a little bit of Essie's Angora Cardi, but a little more um, brown toned. And then this next color is called Red Velvet, and I think this one's gorgeous. Would be great for the holiday season. And it's a red, I'm sorry, there's such a glare, I'm trying, there we go. It's a really pretty deep red, kind of like a cranberry shade, and it's got a shimmer finish to it. And then this next one, which I am so excited about, is called Metal Madness. And it's a really pretty gunmetal gray. In some lights it looks kind of maybe black, but not quite. Probably more of like a, um, like a smoky gray. But I don't think you'll be able to see that, but it's got sparkles in here, like a rainbow of sparkles. And I am really interested to see if this is similar to the Butter London... Um, What's the, the one about the night? Um, the new holiday color. So that would be great because Butter London polishes are pretty expensive and this was a dollar. So if this were a dupe, that would make my day, definitely. So I'll let you know. Um, I will do a blog post about all of these nail polishes. I'll have swatches and let you know where time. So that's everything that I have to share with you today. I will do another drugstore video soon. I have a few more items from e.l.f., NYC, and Rimmel to share with you, but I just didn't want to put it in this video because I just thought it would be way too long. So keep an eye out for that, and I will be doing a few drugstore um, only tutorials. So they'll just be featuring items strictly from the drugstore, so they'll all be really affordable, and I will also do um, some holiday themed makeup from the drugstores too. So I will, as long as the weather is going to cooperate, I have a pretty easy going schedule this week, so I hope to be very busy. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!